Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Server tutorial. In this session we are going to learn how to create a default constraint to assign a default value to a column. Now I have created two tables TBL Employee and TBL Profession in Test TB. So first let's look at the records present in both the tables. So select staff from followed by the name of the table will return all the records present in that table. So these are the records present in both the tables. So the first table contains the employee details and the second table contains the profession details. And the profession ID in TBL employee table is configured to accept even null values. So in case we don't provide any value to it, it will take it as null. So let's see that in action. I'll insert one record into TBL employee table. So I'll provide only the ID, name and the email. So this is the query that we use to insert records in table. I'll give the name as John and let's put it in inverted. Okay. and also the email okay since this is envircar i'm putting it in between single quotes so these are the three records that i'm going to supply so if i go ahead and run this executed successfully so let's check the records again so i have one new record and if we see here in under profession ID this particular record is null okay so now we want to assign a default value instead of null so whenever we don't supply any value to it let's say we want the profession ID to be 104 so that it will relate to the unknown profession so let's see how to assign a default constraint okay so the syntax would be alter table and since we are altering tbl employee table we'll take the tbl employee table and we are going to add a constraint so add constraint and we are adding default constraint so let's provide some meaningful name to that df would uh, represent default constraint followed by the table where we are going to assign the default constraint and on the column which we are going to assign the default value so it would be profession id and finally we will provide the default value as 104 for the column which is this profession id okay so now if I execute this, command executed successfully. So now let's try to enter a record. So this time I'm going to supply the ID as 7 and the name as Hal and followed by Okay. So let's insert that record. It got inserted. Now, if I see the records in TBL employee table, now if you can see the profession ID is now 104. So it's taking the default value now. Now, let's say if we are going to assign a value here instead of you know assigning a default value without supplying any value, let's say we are going to provide profession ID and I'll provide a null. So let's see if it accepts it. Okay, since we have not changed the ID, it's throwing us an error. The thing is that in TBL employee table, there is already an ID of 7. So let's change it to 8. Now let's try to insert it. So it got inserted. Now if you can see, there is 
null value for that particular id of 8 so if we explicitly supply null value for profession id it will accept that even though default constraint is assigned to that so that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe thank you